Good everyone, how are you all doing? Oh, we've got another nice exciting stream we've got today and what we've got is Dell has finally now announced and launched the Dell Precision 7000 series. Now I actually did a stream about launching of the 5000 series, the Precision 5000 series and the new Precision 3000 series and there was a missing of the 7000 series so here is today. We've actually got news about what they're releasing on the Precision series 7000. So this is the performance series, the big, big thick ones that we like to do and that does a lot of work. Now let's get it started off with and I will just bring this thing up. So again this is going to be interesting because what they're doing is they used to traditionally have the new Sorry, the Precision 75,000 series, which is the 15 inch, and the 17 inch, which is the 77,000 series. Sorry, 7700 series now. But what this year is in 2022, they're actually doing something different with the 15 inch. It's now going to be upgraded to the 16 inch. So they're moving to the Precision 7670. So this is what we've been holding out for. So the 16 inch now this is a completely utterly new design you'll see in the 17 the sorry, 16 inch so with you can see there's a completely even in the photo here this was what i've got unfortunately i have not got these in yet they've only just announced it as of today uh and it is you can see there's a completely different design in the precision 7000 series now we have also in the six, if you see at the very bottom here, this is going to be interesting here, is that we've actually already got in the 16 inch, you'll probably see that, is, is going to be that RAM slot barn door. Uh, now that was in the, seven, uh, the 17 inch, but now it looks like it's going to be in the 16 inch. Now here's the other thing about the 16 inch precision series. They're going to have two chassis. So we're going to have a thin chassis and a performance chassis. So you will see here, uh, we've got the thin chassis. Well, I'm going to use the strange terms. Is it's going to be 24.7 millimeters uh, in thickness, and then you've got the performance one, which is probably what you see of the traditional one that we're very used to, which is the thicker one, which is now 27.45 millimeters. So that's going to be really cool. Now that I'll talk to you about about the two different chassis in the moment. Now we're just going to go back to the design here firstly because we'll talk about design before we talk about the specs. So with the design, um, you will see that at the back here we've now got the ports on the side rather than what it was at the back. Now in the previous model, which I don't have for me right now, uh, but the back here was where the ports were and then you have the two exhaust vents at the oh sorry let's go back one i shouldn't have clicked that is at the back uh on either sides and on the 17 inch you'll have that along the other uh either sides as well so you have four ex uh, exhaust vents now we've just got one big exhaust vent along the back and then we've moved the ports uh to the both sides uh, so it looks more like traditional laptop commercial laptop that we normally see uh, as for port wires, it's pretty much the same. Wouldn't say any more different. We still have the HMI 2.1, which is great to see. Uh, and then we've got pretty much the usual ports. Now, going back to the design, we have a new thermal solution. Uh, as you can see, the, especially on the right here, so this is the breakdown inside here, is that on the fan, it was on either side. Now they look to be both on both sides of one side of the laptop. Uh, to to pretty much cool this computer. So I'm going to be loving to see how this new design is going to be improved uh, from the previous one. Now, seeing the Precision 5760 and the 50 and basically the XPS uh, 17 inch. Now that design actually did really good because it kept up with the 7000 series. Now this is now I've been waiting to be updated this thermal solution because it's been there for quite a while and this is it. So I'm excited to see how this new thermal solution goes, seeing what the Precision 7, uh, 57,000 series, uh, 5700, sorry, uh, how that went and that did very well. So I am excited to see this new thermal solution in the 7000 series. Oh, we've got a question already. So let's have a look. Uh, people hate the RAM module. Really? What do you think? I think it'll be okay because they'll be easy for the IT department. I don't know why. It's probably something that what I would say is 
uh, easy to access, but that is true that do you need to access that much? Uh, it is something that could get guck in there uh, on this outside button, but I think it'd be all right there. Anyway, oh, let's continue on. Now, we're going down to specs. Now, with the 16-inch, the Precision 7670, of course, we're going to the 12th gen here. Now, it goes up to the i9. Now, just like the Precision 5000 series for 2022, we don't see any uh, Xeons at the moment. Now, like my prediction is, is that I think a lot of the manufacturers is waiting for the new Xeons to come out before we can actually see the Xeons configuration. So if you're in the market for uh, a, a precision uh, at the moment uh, and you're looking for the Xeons, then you're going to have to, unfortunately, just if you really need to buy one now, you're going to have to wait for uh, a little bit longer. Uh, for that to happen. But at the moment, it is the 12th gen. Uh, we haven't given which kind of, but it will have V Pro versions at the moment. Uh, so they still haven't fully announced what 12th gen generation uh, process is in there. Uh, but I'm sure it's a very big list as there. I have quite a bit of a list there anyway. Uh, and they, of course, they'll have V Pro for a lot of the business who run V Pro infrastructure. So i9. And again, the RAM is at the moment up to 128 gigs. Uh, at the moment, we do see it bump up to DDR5, and it is at the moment what's available is the non-ECC RAM. So, and they do say in the spec sheet is basically the ECC RAM is coming soon, which is the ECC RAM is for the Xeons. So that's what I'm saying. So do watch out that space if you are waiting for the Xeons. Uh, at the moment, we just don't have that released out at the moment. Now, the other thing that um, is interested to see in, that's a difference in here, is the discrete graphics that is optional. Uh, you can get it, these without discrete graphics, but with the discrete graphics, now, some of these configurations are from the old ones uh, you see, so that's nothing different. Uh, but here is the three that's different, is the more performance one here. So there is the RTX A45, sorry, 4500, uh, which is now been upgraded from the A4000. Uh, then there's also the RTX A5500, uh, which was upgraded from the AA5000, which was available in the previous one, which was in the, uh, actually, no, this was not available in the 15 inch. Uh, this is now being made available in the 16 inch. So that's kind of nice to see this configuration. Now, you also notice that these are 16 gigs in uh, DDR6 uh, RAM. So that's great to see. And again, these kind of have to be in the performance. And so you have to have these in the thicker one rather than the thin. Uh, chassis here. Now you also see this one here. This is the RTX, uh, which is the GeForce uh, 3080 Ti. Now this is going to be fun. Uh, it's good to see they've actually put this in the 16 inch because this is a bit of a hidden thing in the 17 inch. It is kind of available in the 17 inch in the previous model, which is the 7760. Uh, well, we don't really want to really order that uh, at the moment. I don't think uh, it is, but it's not a TI. Uh, that was the thing. So now this is available in the 16 inch, which is great to see. Uh, so it's gone up to the 16 inch uh, for those who want to probably save a little bit of money because the RTX uh, A, well, the Quadro series is a little bit more expensive. And then, of course, we've got the Precision 7070. Uh, again, very, very similar in specs uh, in available configurations. I think most of the difference is really the difference in the screen. Now, the screen in the 17 inch, again, like the previous model, can do 120 hertz. Uh, so that's one of the big difference in the 16 inch. Uh, it doesn't do the 120 hertz. There is no option for that. It only goes to 60 hertz for those who want to know. Uh, so with the Precision uh, 17 inch, uh, you can get the 120 hertz if you want ish. And also with the discrete graphics, again, it's all very similar. Uh, and pretty much it's yeah, it's just really the display. It's really just a larger screen, and the screen is also uh, basically can do 120 hertz. It's also got uh, four slots of uh, for storage, whereas the 16 inch, I think it's only about two at the moment. Uh, and I think the space, it's just really just make it larger, and that's pretty much it. Uh, but it's good to see that the 16 inch is has a lot of the configurations that the 17 inch that people will bump up to. So it's good to see, especially with the gra higher graphics is what these are mostly used for in a way. So, and that's pretty much it for the Precision Series. So I'm excited to see these new Precision Series. Uh, also, the, I have noticed that also the webcam has been bumped up to 
uh, 1080p. <laughs> yes, that's fairly great uh, for that one there. Uh, and again, all the ports are the usual ports here as well too. Uh, we still got a full size keyboard on and the number pad on the side on both of them. Uh, and you'll see just the difference with the 16 inch and 17 inch. It's just a little bit more uh, space in between for either sides in a way. Uh, it's interesting to see that they've actually moved it up from the 15 inch to the 16 inch. I have a feeling they're trying to actually uh, target the MacBooks, the 16 inch MacBooks. This is probably to compete more in the 16 inch level. So it's going to be interesting to see how those are and having the two chassis there as well, too, for the 16 inch. But definitely excited to see those ones there. Now, I wonder if anyone's got any questions there. G'day, sound well. How are you? Thanks for joining me and thanks for joining me, uh, Flying Passion, as well, too. It's great to see you guys join me as well, too. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll open up for uh, any questions that you might guys have got or any questions that I, I might not be able to answer, uh, but I can always ask the Dells. Uh, and we'll probably get back to you in either the comments below. But for those who are not joining me, uh, definitely put comments below, uh, and I'll hopefully be able to answer you guys a little bit later on uh, for any questions you may have about these two positions. Now, besides while I wait for the questions, they did release also out another uh, one, but it's not precision series, it's the latitude series, and this is the 9330. So this is the 13 inch of the flagship model of the latitude 9000 series. So they did also release that one there. Uh, they do have something interesting there. I don't wonder if I've got one on the slides. Uh, sorry, that's the internal uh, thing. So uh, I don't think I've got them. No, I haven't got slides for that one there. Uh, but what the 13 inch, I might see if I go and find this thing out as I get any questions in. I'll bring this thing in anyway. So let me just see if I can find uh, this one here. Okay, here we go. This one's here. This is it. Let me bring this thing in. I'll just share screen. Ah, here we go. Now, this is one of the things that I found interesting in. Oh, what's happened there? Okay. Oh, okay, not moving. Uh, is the touchpad on the Latitude 9330. Now, this touchpad, everything else is probably similar to all the 9000 series, but this 13 inch has a new touchpad that's a little bit unique compared to the rest of the series. Uh, and that is this here, which is what's called uh, more for video conferencing. Uh, so this will automatically, hopefully, again, using AI, will pop up if you're using Zoom, and I'm taking as MS Teams will be the same thing as well. This will automatically pop up, uh, like will display uh, while you're in a video conferencing room. So you can do simple things like uh, turning your video camera on and off, uh, as well as muting yourself and also sharing the screen as well and looking at the um, chat or uh, whatever it's in there. So this will turn itself on and then enable itself. And once you're out of the meeting or out of video conferencing, and then this will disable and basically disappear. So if it goes back to a normal trackpad, like the full trackpad there. So that's a little bit interesting that I can see for the Latitude uh, 9330 uh, there. All right, I think I'll just bring myself back in here. Uh, but yeah, let's just look if like there's any questions here, but um, definitely if you've got any questions, put comments below and hopefully I'll slowly get you to answer. If I don't know the answers, I'll get Dale to come help me out with those ones there. To, if you're even asking for very technical questions there, I'll try and get Dale to come help. All right, thank you very much for your joining me today and I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. Catch ya.